<clears throat> Good morning, everybody. This is the lesson for Tuesday and Wednesday, whether I have you as an A-Day student today, Tuesday, or tomorrow, Wednesday, as a B-Day student. Um, so welcome. This is where we will always start our lesson. It is on that same calendar that we've been using. I'll open the chat so that I can answer all of your questions. If we're having a synchronous lesson, which you can see um, on your calendar, um, I will be on the document. If it's asynchronous, I will not be on the document live. However, you can still email me questions or post questions here, and other people that are on the document throughout the eighth grade might be able to answer your question. So keep that in mind. We will, um, I, I will send you the lesson each day on email. It will also be posted here. So I just posted it in Veracross. All of your teachers will be posting the lessons in Veracross. They'll also be um, uh, noting whether you do them or not. So just so you know, each day, your math lesson, your INS lesson, if for some reason you don't do it, we will put in complete, not turned in, or complete. If you get something that's incomplete, we are you will get an email um, sent home to parents just to make sure that everybody's clear. And if you are having trouble, we can um, help you and figure out why the work wasn't turned in. Um, we will uh, start with the Socrative, so you will do the Socrative again. That's our routine, and I can see your scores. If we're asynchronous, um, the Socrative will be open, and I'll check it. I won't probably do shout-outs here live. If it's synchronous, I will do the shout-outs on here for kids getting really good scores. The homework, again, is posted, so um, the bookmark, the reading, everything is here. For today's lesson, we're not doing a quiz because we had a catch-up day. If if you remember. Um, for partner time, um, what I think we'll do is the Google Hangout. So your pairs, which are here, which I think everybody knows quite well, you will send um, a Hangout to your member and you guys can discuss on video uh, your bookmark and fill it out. So we want to keep doing that routine of the bookmark and also I think you'll find that being on um, self-study can be a little bit lonely and having a little bit of an opportunity to video chat will be really nice. Doing a full class video is kind of a nightmare. Um, it's really, really difficult because there's just too many people in a class, but doing pair and small group work is great. So during the hangout, during the, the bookmark chat, I'd like you to do the hangout. Um, also make sure today or um, when you see this video that you have put a comment on PL3 by the time you see this video, I haven't done it yet, but hopefully you'll see my comments. I'm doing peel two and three today. Um, remember, do not uh, do not um, um, resolve any of the comments because we're using them as a guide for um, how you're improving. And then you're going to complete peel four. So the reader response questions are linked here. Um, today, you're going to look at, um, I think, let's see. Reader response four. Uh, you're going to talk about, oh, this is a good one, about how auto, people said, um, people would refer to the Germans, and Otto Frank was quite sensitive to that after the war because he was a German, and that there was this kind of stereotyping and this grouping and this othering, um, when meanwhile he was a very proud German man. Um, and so this idea of stereotypes and groupings, I'd like you to think about. Um, or the other one is about um, people in the Netherlands who, after the occupation, some resisted, some turned the other way, um, uh, some went along with the Nazis. Um, what did you think about that? So there's a question um, on both of these. This is a good question, I think, today. I think you'll really enjoy it. Remember about the um, going into the PDF and doing Command F to look for a section. If there's a keyword or phrase that you can't find in your text but you're looking for, you can try it there. Remember that the A section is, should be our longest section in the peel. And that's about all I want to say in terms of um, lessons. I think on Thursday, Friday, I'm going to give you a lesson about um, the Works Cited page in MLA 
and um, and also just the link and a few other Hancock tips, but I'm going to hold off today. Just do remember about PDF and Control F. So today, if you looked at your schedule, um, let's look at the calendar. Let me just show you where the calendar is. Looks like I don't have it up. Okay, so let me just get it up uh, here. I wanted to show you briefly, not the stumbling stones. Oh yeah. So if you look at the calendar where we're all going to meet on the chat today, um, below is the schedule. So today is all synchronous, but in the afternoon, you'll probably be getting some tasks that you can work on after 1230. And then tomorrow you can see that there's some synchronous in the morning, but some asynchronous in the afternoon. Um, you can always check with your homeroom teacher if things are confusing to you, but basically, you know, you're going to be working from uh, nine o'clock, today it's 10 o'clock, through 3.30 each day um, doing tasks. And then the last thing is the um, Stumbling Stone project. So I sent something for people that are in Amstelvain, um, an option, and if you uh, if you noticed the the map the stumbling stone maps, some people are already putting their things up, which is really cool. So Macy put hers up, um, Izzy put hers up, and so if I click on this, this is what she found. Um, this is the person. And then if you scroll down, there's some information that she found on him. And then also, don't forget to take that photo or upload a video here from you at the site and what the house looks like. I think that would be really nice to see the actual house, not just the stone. Um, so I think that's it. Best of luck today, you guys. And, uh, and let's see how this all works, okay? So signing off.